All right, welcome back. Uh, good job working with the GeoJSONs. That's going to be very useful in both our coming sections and uh, a lot more. So we're going to do something called bounds now. And this might not always be included in an introductory course on mapping, since it's a bit of a strange topic that you're not using all the time, um, or even very often. But I think that it's really useful in making your map usable, especially as a beginner. It's something that people intuitively expect to happen, that if you don't do everyone will find your map a little unusable. So I think it's worth going over. So what is bounds? Bounds is the area of a map that um, you kind of snap to for a user. So okay, that didn't make much sense. So it's basically setting the map to the ideal zoom and the ideal center in order to show all the features that you need to show. So if this background was a map and we had a marker here and a marker here and a marker here, um, we need the map to be able to show all those at once so we can properly see all the information. Now if there was a marker just a little bit to the right, um, sorry, to the right off the page, we wouldn't be able to see it and that might be a problem. So we would want the map to just automatically show us all the markers. So to do that we have to make sure we find the bounds of all the markers. That is like what boundary, what square or rectangle can we draw around all the markers in order to make it so that um, we see them all. Okay, so you can imagine that this have to, has to do with the size of the map, right? Um, how big is the map on the user's screen? The, the, and the geographic features themselves that are scattered around the map. So that might sound a little strange, but it's going to make a lot of sense as we do it. And I'm basically talking about the map being the ideal zoom uh, when the user first arrives to it so they can properly see everything. I also think that this should often be dynamic in the sense that if you have a map that has any information that's changing, like for instance a real estate map where you're adding information every once in a while, adding new listings, removing old ones, you want this to change and always be showing all the markers. You don't want to just center everything on the, your town in wherever in some random state and then um, you get new, new clients in a new um, location and you, no one can see them on your map. Right? You want it to show. So what we're going to be doing is using the actual features of uh, GeoJSON or markers or anything in order to set the map size, especially initially when it loads. So let's go out um, and just look at the leaflet here and look at what bounds are. Um, bounds are a little strange to understand at first. So it represents, that's a great way to say it actually, it represents a rectangular area in coordinates. So in this case it says pixel coordinates, although it doesn't, doesn't have to be pixel coordinates. Um, so what they are is it creates a rectangle that contains all your points. And you can imagine most of the maps, for instance this map is a rectangle, so that makes sense that it would create a rectangular area. So it creates the minimal rectangular area. So for instance for this one we can see that we can kind of see both markers when we're zoomed in here. So leaflet might automatically go like that, or it might take one more up and put us at a level where uh, it fits. But when our map does load now, we're a little far away and it's not centered or anything. So what we're going to do is just add some bounds. And we can do that in a much easier way than having to go to the documentation look around. Um, what we're going to do is create this GeoJSON as an actual variable. So we'll say, call it added GeoJSON. Okay. And now we have access to do things with it. For instance, we could show it, we could hide it, we could remove it from the map, we can do all sorts of things. So since we're doing that, um, now map has, uh, sorry, leaflet has a really easy way to manage all this when it comes to working with GeoJSONs or other information that's kind of in its layer format, not just a single marker. You can just use a get bounds and it'll just get them, and then you just set them to the map. So that's pretty straightforward. Let's load that. Ah. It's actually map.fitbounds. I'm sorry, there's a few mapping libraries, and it's a little easy to get mixed up between them. So if we go map.fitbounds, reload, you can see it does go into about where I said. Now, maybe you want it just a little bit out from that. So in that case, we can look up um, adding padding to bounds leaflet. And let's see if there's some options we can manage. So you can see here they say fit bounds padding. Okay, so maybe when we just add this, we'll go padding 20. Well, it looks like it goes in a kind of array, probably one for x and one for y coordinates. You can see here. 
And there we go. We get a little bit of padding so that it's, it's a little nicer fit in there. And you can remove it or add it as you like. Now, when it comes to features other than GeoJSONs where you need to do this, for instance, if you added a whole bunch of markers to the map individually, you need to make them into a layer in order to, a layer type thing like a GeoJSON, in order to be able to get access to this get bounds. Otherwise, you do have to do a little bit more complicated work with, um, uh, if you need to do that, you're going to have to look at leaflets extend property on their bounds. Okay, so um, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, we may end up doing that in some of our other sections. But in general, we're going to be using layers to, to do something easy like this. So let's create a couple points, add them to a layer, and then get them to uh, fit our bounds. So instead of this, let's comment this out. Let's just use some of the points uh, that we have in here to kind of add a couple markers. So we're just going to go with our marker 1. And we're just going to copy this. And oops, let's go back to Leaflet to make sure we remember how to make markers. Let's go up here, marker. We need to pass some information to it. Icon is there. We have to give it the lat long. That's the first point. So we have to give it some kind of array. And let's just copy some of these. Maybe this one. Okay. Oh, get rid of that. And we'll just make a second marker in a different location. So if we were to say add to map, then there we go. And let's do that. And still not there. Why the fuck is it not here? Oh, and there it is. It's way down in the corner. So clearly I reversed the coordinates. Something went wrong. So let's uh, change the coordinates so we're putting them in the right lat long order uh, for leaflet. As I said, you are going to run into this. If you think your markers should be on the map and they're not, try scrolling out until you can see far down Antarctica and you might find that they are at the wrong latitude longitude. So switch those. Now let's see. Ah, there. Okay, that's showing up much, much better. Alright, so instead of adding this to the map, we're actually going to make a new thing and we're going to go back to leaflet documentation head to feature group and feature group is another kind of layer now it's a little confusing because there's something called layer group but I think what happened probably is leaflet originally made layer group and then found that uh, they wanted to do even more so they just kind of built another one on top of it feature group that has all the same um, events and all the same abilities but has also more so in this case we're going to use feature group here we're just going to use this you can see you pass it an array markers or geometric objects could also be a polyline as and a marker then you can do things like add pop-ups to all of them add events to all of them and add them on the map so we'll say here feature group and just like it shows over there we're gonna pass marker 1 and marker 2 and we're gonna add that to the map so let's see if they add them there we go, they're both added. So now let's fit bounds. So all we can, all we have to do is use the similar code that we used previously. Copy it up here. And we have a map.fitbounds. And then instead of using the added geojson, we're going to put in our feature group to get bounds. And when we load, we see it just appears. And the nice thing here is, again, when we add another marker and we reload, it automatically starts to show them. Oh, well that's why don't we actually pass it a third marker here. It resizes to fit everything. So it's going to always do that for us. And that's really handy. So that's a little bit on bounds. And uh, we're going to be using that fairly extensively to make sure maps wrap properly and show things properly to our users. And I hope they come in handy. And you've also got a little bit of a sense of Leaflet's layering system with feature groups. GeoJSONs, and so on. That's going to come in very handy when we're doing events and filtering and more complex topics. So we'll see you in the next video.